Excuse me, this seat's taken. No, it's not. Yes, it is. <laughs> no, it's not. The man that you're waiting for, he's not coming. And how do you know who I'm waiting on? I know because he's my husband. And who are you? <laughs> I'm Sharice, as in Mrs. Thomas Nelson, his wife. Wife? I can assure you, I have no idea. <laughs> That's what they all say, honey. Please. I'm sure they do, but I really didn't know. I mean, if you look at his Instagram, it gives very single. There's just pictures of him, his dog Snooky, gym pics, and then him volunteering at the nursing home. Oh, that darn Thomas. He has another private social media page that I don't know about. And this is not even his dog. That's my brother's dog. He's trying to bait the ladies. <laughs> Showing off his muscles at the gym. <laughs> Here. He does not volunteer at the nursing home, honey. That's where he works. What? Really? Yes. My family owns it. I can't believe this. So he's a liar. <laughs> Lord, you tried to tell me and I didn't listen. Okay, honey, um, don't uh, talk about my husband now. And who are you whispering to? Well, Mrs. Thomas, I'm really sorry that this happened to you. And I was talking to God. <laughs> honey, I'm sorry this happened to you. He does this all the time. I am not shocked. Well, have you thought about maybe confronting him instead of coming here and confronting me? Honey, <laughs> and what's that gonna do? Uh, hold him accountable. Look, you can't keep doing this. You're out here confronting every woman when you know that he's the real issue. Instead of harassing other women, maybe you should talk to him. Work things out. Because if he loves you, he'll do whatever he needs to do to keep you. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Keep me? He is blessed if I keep him, honey. When I met him, he had nothing. He was nothing. I begged my father to give him a job. I helped get his life on track. And he moved in my house when we got married. So, mm-mm. I let him know every day he is blessed to be with me. He had nothing and he was nothing, so he knows he has nowhere else to go. Well, maybe that's the problem. What do you mean? You make him feel like a boy and less of a man. <laughs> Excuse me? Look, hear me out. Maybe he's seeking validation outside of the home because he can't get it inside of the home. I'm not validating his cheating or anything because you're a beautiful woman, but I do remember him telling me that I make him feel like he can do anything in the world with me by his side, and I always see the best in him. Do you want me to slap you? No. I'm just saying, if you talk to him and understand where he's coming from, you'll learn that men need to be respected. It's a non-negotiable for them. <laughs> and why should I listen to you, honey? You're not even married. No, that's true, but I am kind of an expert. I'm a licensed therapist and a life coach. Hmm. And I take premarital classes at my church. Oh. So you're a good listener, huh? That's why he fell for you? Go figure. <laughs> yeah, guilty as charged. And, hold on, hold on. Premarital counseling? Are you engaged? Are you cheating too? No, but I'm trusting in God to help me find the right husband. <laughs> he knows the desires of my heart, and he's going to grant them. God, huh? <laughs> He cares nothing about our hearts. If he did, why is mine getting broken every other week? He cares, Sharice. You just have to have the heart to give it to him. And this guy can help my marriage? The God that I serve, through the perfect communication and understanding, you all can get to a really good place. You just have to talk to him. <laughs> it's funny, because why, for some reason, I don't want to slap you right now? <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, can you give us a counseling session since you're a therapist and all? Um, I don't think it's the best idea that I do the counseling, but I do know some pretty good therapists. <laughs> well, it's no need for us to waste these cute outfits, so I guess maybe I should wait here and we get a bite to eat together. For some reason, I kind of like you. <laughs> Tell me a little bit more about this God. Okay, so it first starts with communication. Just talking to God will do wonders for your soul. You can speak freely like he's your best friend. Talk to him, talk to anyone. Ladies, we're not making excuses for cheating. But what we are saying is, if you're married, make sure that you love your husband. Respect him. Show that you care about him. Don't put him down. Even if there's things about him you don't like or that's irritating or that you hope that he improves, 
None of us are perfect. You're not perfect. He's not perfect. But with God, all things are possible. So make sure you pray for your husband. And yes, communicate with him. Let him know some of the things that you dislike. Uh, but make sure that you're doing it not in a bad time when it's not a good atmosphere, but when there's a peaceful, calm atmosphere. And it doesn't even always matter what you say, but how you say it. Say it in a loving way. Pray and ask the Holy Spirit to lead you. How should I bring this topic up? And sometimes the Holy Spirit may say, don't bring it up. Pray about it. And just to show love, display love, give what you desire. Like if you want more love, show more love because a man reaps what he sows. A woman reaps what she sows. So in marriage, there's so many things that we have to work on, but communication, loving and respecting our husband is so important. And no matter where you are in life or your relationships, trust God. He has the answer. Again, counseling, therapy. But if you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, get to know him. Ask him to come into your life. Believe that he died on the cross for your sins and now he rose again. He's in heaven with the Father. And if you accept him and say, Lord, come into my life, be the Lord of my life, forgive me of my sins, help me live this life for you to live a healthy, whole, joyful, fulfilling life. And then you can say in Jesus name, amen. And then when you leave this earth, you have a place with him in heaven, eternal life. So again, I love you. And I just want to encourage you in this skip that if you are struggling, doesn't have to be cheating, whatever type of situation you might want to overcome, God with him, it's all possible. Single and struggling or need a little bit of encouragement during this season of your life? Check out Sharbria Shine's books for single ladies. Single and Satisfied, The Single Woman's Guide to Fulfillment, The Single Woman's Dating Guide, or The Single Woman's Guide to the Holidays. Go to sharbria.com, click store to get your copy today, or click the link in comments or description.